From the stress of being proprietor of the toxic chemical plant that encroached on the nearby neighborhood, the mean Mr. Platts had aged beyond his years. He also obsessed about shit cakes and steam whistles, and the love of his life, Black Friday, a childhood sweetheart who still lived down the block. Though Black Friday never met Mr. Platts, he still thought she possessed the most beautiful voice imaginable. Platt remained in love with her because she was nothing like anyone. As a child, the mean Mr. Platts was terrified by Krusty, the weasel ghost Sue, who appeared regularly in his bedroom. Ghost Sue would ramble most unintelligibly about the filthy chemical plant that Platts would oversee later in his life. From time to time, his troubled son was spotted at the plant, causing chaos. His son named himself the essential jelly bleeder, young chicken, Carmine Platts. He would dance about spewing gibberish such as try this you shit pile with, with no, no wheels. wheels look, look at me now, now. This, this is some, some genuine junk. junk Platts worried about what his son would do this caused him to go to the vacant condemned property down the block not far from his love Black Friday There, he would pace about in the wee hours. The stress always jumbled his thoughts again toward shit kicks and steam whistles. At least here, though, he was also closer to the great sound of Black Friday's voice that would always comfort him. When he pictured his troubled son, he was sure that Krusty, the weasel ghost Sue, was there, prodding him on. Mr. Platts would also picture the half-dead Grey Melon Leeds, who every fall and winter would stroll, guided by a dream, toward the location of the craft that arrived for environmental diagnostics. Might the craft hold definitive science that industrial pollution was indeed the reason so many on Earth were so confused, reactionary, and at each other's throats? For the time being, Mr. Platts decided to just soak in the tuneful tones from his sweetheart and forget about the plant, the half-dead, Grey melon leads, Krusty the weasel ghost Sue, the craft, and his son, the essential jelly bleeder young chicken Carmine Platts. She notices a man walking by. She thinks he might own the chemical plant. She thinks she might like to kill him. 